Okay, I have to. We have to do a call first with send it. Hello, hello. I'm doing good. What about you? I'm doing all right, man. Uh, I was gonna uh, talk to you a little bit about so last week clearly wasn't like the best week. I mean, we still lost, but I mean, I'm trying to be more positive about that. Um, I do have a question as far as. It, I started getting less hungry. I started being less hungry, like, to the point where, like, I wasn't eating until late in the day. And so I, like, started eating less. And yeah. so I don't know if that has anything to do with, like, I was probably eating, like, one meal a day. Like, I just, like, food was not sounding good at all. I was just feeling sick. And, like, so I don't know if that had anything to do with me not losing, because, I mean, I was working out and stuff, so... But it wasn't that I wasn't getting... How much did you lose or how little or whatever you want to... It was like, I think it was like almost half a pound. In one week. Yeah. Uh, and you had... But uh... I mean, I did lose five the week before. So I was like, I, I'm trying to be more positive about it. Yeah, but th this is normal. When you're dieting, okay. that some weeks you lose more than others. That That is totally normal. Okay. So, and I also figured, too, that I started lifting, too. So I might be, my body might be shifting a little bit and putting on a little bit more muscle, too, because I'm also walking more than I was at the start. Yeah. How, how Have you logged what you have been eating? Uh, no, that's so this last week, we, the last two weeks have been hell at work. Uh, yeah. I am in the process of trying to leave one of the jobs that I'm at and just make the other job my full time gig. And so that has been playing a role in the last two weeks of just my anxiety has been kind of through the roof and like I'm taking care of my sister and nephew and brother-in-law right now so that also has kind of like there, there's been some stresses over the last two weeks that I didn't have the first month yeah um, it's, stress might lead to a little bit water retention I think I'm not sure if we should blame anything but I wouldn't put too much into it as long okay. as your body feels pretty good, you uh, it will be a bit up and down. And if you're weighing yourself just once a week, it can also be a little. Have you if you weighed yourself on a daily? Uh, no, but I can. Then you would have seen that it might go a little bit up some days, a little bit down. It will go a little bit. But we need to look at the trend. Half a pound down okay. is still a half a pound down. And, uh, yeah, and that's what I've been trying to be like, not giving myself too hard of a time. No, you shouldn't. As as long as you're doing good with the food, good with the training, you should be just think that this is how it's done. Don't yeah. don't expect and that's anything what I've more. Been, I've been. Uh, like uh the smoker has been super cool because like I've smoked the turkey burgers and like. The different meat and stuff that i've been eating so like that's been a difference that i didn't have before so yeah uh that's been cool and i've been staying uh, on my workouts and stuff and and at least doing 30 minutes I, I i feel like my cardio has gotten a lot better too i've already bumped up to like about 40 to 45 i mean i could go a little bit longer but i just with the time i have in the day trying to get as much done as I can but I admit, I'm not going to lie being in the gym again I miss working out and my fat ass also played basketball uh, for the first time in a couple of years and oh my god that was good I no it was not it was, I mean oh, I no. missed it I oh yeah but I, my body was like hey we're not ready for this yet so yeah but we're getting back into it slow and like trying to go the approach of just long term this time instead of burning myself out I think that is how you should approach it. You should not look at this as anything negative. You're still doing it. You're still doing everything you should. That's it. Don't don't think about the one week you lost five pounds. The next week you lost a half. You're, you're still going slowly towards the goal. It is patience. This is all about. This is lifestyle change. Long yeah. term. It's not. Uh, we're, we're not trying to just diet you down so you can... Uh, just go back to old habits. We're trying to implement new good habits into everything. I can't say it enough. That's the most important thing. I will say too, like there's been, uh, like I've gone out to uh, like a restaurant with my dad for lunch or like my sister. 13 for dinner months and, like, ago. Definitely like seeing now just like 
how I would have used to eat at the restaurants compared to like eating now, like just getting a steak and vegetables with rice and stuff. It's just huh. like, it's definitely, it makes me excited for opening up to new healthier options. Like I started following a bunch of people on TikTok that like do the healthy, um, like versions of food that you might be craving or something like healthier, healthier yeah. versions. So yeah. As long there, there's nothing wrong with that, as long as you're doing it in a, a way that makes sense, right? If you yeah. uh, if you went to McDonald's with your dad to have five cheeseburgers and two Big Macs oh, and a, and a few fries, that, that it wouldn't work. But even you yeah, went to uh, with him there, and you uh, you had some steak with rice that tasted good, I would guess. Then it's nothing. Yeah, wrong. no, that's what. Uh, yeah, the definitely trying to stay as close to our plan if i end up going out and having food with them so i agree but that's the correct way <clears throat> what you did yeah. was just perfect nothing cool. to complain about at all because the yeah because it... okay. when i give you the diet plan some people will think that this is the only way of losing weight right but it isn't yeah. you don't need to be that insane you should think about how many calories do you get on an average per day that will count long term? And as we talked about, try to stay away from the most unhealthy things. Yeah. That those two that things That was are also important. another thing that I was, I, I didn't realize too, that I've been looking at like, because I've been like looking at labels and stuff more, which I've done prior, but never like, I feel like in this depth, and like even like when i would like spray like meat on the smoker with like apple juice i didn't even realize how much sugar i was putting on to that yeah by just by just spraying it down and like it's just like stuff like that i never would have thought of like how easily that stuff adds up yeah it out through a day if you do a lot of those then yeah. it will be a lot uh, i just have to respond fast oh no you're good Yeah, no, no. So uh, that that's something we have implemented as well. That is smart to know, because you c imagine, let's say you have a. This is almost like you. This is about what you're eating, right? You have uh, this amount of uh, food, this amount of calories, and then you put in some extra oil into the cooking. You put in spray the meat, as you're saying, and out through a day that can be like a few hundred calories here and there. Yeah. And then you're suddenly gone from a, from being in deficit to a surplus if it is too much. Yeah. And then you maybe might have like a drink with calories in and uh, it will add up yeah, really, really one, fast. One thing I definitely like drinking, um, like anytime I'd have alcohol, which I don't drink much, but when I do, I like to party. So yeah. I definitely uh, have been staying clear of that. So it's uh, it's smart because it's so easy to just add up all of those calories it is how how was it the training you talked about the basketball the, it, the was it positive to do something you enjoyed uh, in oh, that oh yeah way? i mean i it was it was honestly a little weird to be honest cuz i didn't realize how long it had been since i like had played any type of sport like I play softball for a for a league like every eight or nine months, but it's not like as as athletic as I used to be. Like when I was playing, you know, basketball, football, baseball almost daily. So yeah. it, it was it was an adjustment to be like, okay, damn, like mentally I'm there to be yeah. able to play it, but it's like physically, it's like you, uh, yeah, having the work from home jobs and sitting and content and all that. It's not. No, it's a whole different world. You should just expect that you have to ease into it, as you said, a slowly progression on that as well. But we have had already had progression on the walks, the cardio a lot. Because yeah. the first day wasn't that like you said you had pain under your legs. You had yeah. it was painful just starting walking. Dude, I went into a sauna for the first time and I thought my fat ass was gonna melt inside there. I, um... I did not think I was going to make it out. And then <laughs> I, the next time, because I was like breathing and the hot air came in, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> then the second time I went in, I was like, okay, this kind of feels a lot better. And the guy that was in there, he was like, make sure to bring some water in here, my boy. And I was like, 
But let me uh, try yeah. that. And then the third time I did that, I was like, okay, this isn't too bad. But the, uh, that first time I was like, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to make it out of here. I, I get that. It's it's horrible for me as well. Oh, and they got a steam room too. And they were like, dude, if you're struggling to hear, do not go in that steam room. I was like, all right, I'll just keep doing the sauna for now. And yeah, the steam room is probably added in just uh, water or uh, yeah. water into the air, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's that, and they said that they run their steam room warmer than the the sauna. Okay. I was like, that's probably good for me to, you know, sweating and stuff, but I don't know if I'll make it out. So I was like, if they're ready to pull my fat ass into an ambulance, I'm ready. <laughs> to ease into those things as well, get used to Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm no, definitely not. There's no reason to lie on the floor in a sauna with... Just uh, naked in a star <laughs> formation. I was with my buddy that works there. He's like, yeah, for your first time, you probably want to go like 20, 25 minutes. I, I got in there and I made it at five. I was like, there is no way in hell I'm making it another 20 minutes in here. <laughs> no, I guess. Like, they'll be calling 911. <laughs> Get me out of here. I, I, re I remember once I tried to do so now just to, to make weight. I had to sweat out, uh, was it two L LBS? In... Oh what in two hours oh my fucking god that's the most horrible oh. thing I, did I, you I, have to be in the sauna the whole time no but i had some i took some two vodka shots on an empty stomach uh -huh. and when i was hungry and i did the sauna that's the absolute worst thing i've done to myself i think that sounds awful i was straight up horrible imagine your empty stomach with some alcohol in it and you're sitting in a sauna I wonder if that's so there was one time that I kind of did the same thing but I got into a hot tub and I could feel like my heart beating like yeah. in my entire body and I almost wonder if that was like Probably, almost like your yeah. body's getting dehydrated or something uh, it's straight up hell oh two shots of vodka in the sauna <laughs> uh, no, you're stronger no. than I am you are stronger than I am uh, but I I, I walked I, I was sitting there for like five five ten minutes and then out have a little break breathe and then back in and i went in and out drying off the sweat in and out oh, the one thing that's cool about this sauna is it's right next to a pool so i was like if i start feeling like i'm gonna pass out i'm gonna at least get close enough to the pool that maybe it'll wake me up yeah but then now i'm thinking i might that might not be a good idea if i'm passed out to fall into the pool <laughs> Just, See, it's just things, you know, things who are you'll get to think of. Crawling over to the pool, just falling in. <laughs> and like, I gone. would have been fine if I wouldn't have fallen into the pool after I passed out. But... Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't probably do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll stay clear of that. I'll stay clear of that. But it, it's, it could be nice to just uh, cool down in a pool. That, that's, well, that's what uh, I was thinking, too, is almost hop in after the sauna. Yeah. No, that, that, that can be oh, yeah, a good thing. I, definitely, it, being back at the gym has been nice. I, I saw somebody that I grew up with, and I was like, I could have gone without that. So, yeah. uh, it's one of those guys that's just loud and obnoxious, which I am, but he says shit that you're just like, you probably shouldn't say that in public. <laughs> so. No, but... Uh... Should we set any goal, new goals? Is there anything there you yeah, would like I'm to down. do? Because we're just a little over a month in, so I'm thinking. Let's see. Monday I was three thirty nine, so it, maybe it doesn't have to be any weight goals either if you don't want to. Okay. It could be. Uh... It could be something. Let's say, play basketball once a week on a regular basis it can be whatever added in yeah it doesn't yeah, need I'm to be anything to, more i'm down to add the basketball maybe do uh basketball in the sauna yeah at least once a week at least once a week add it to the yeah. cardio yeah Th that uh, yeah that's what I, I thought i was sweating after the cardio then i got in the sauna afterwards oh my god yeah but it you will i was i was like i need to start drinking actually you know what my I'm down with the basketball and the sauna, but I need I gotta start drinking more water. I've definitely noticed that that is one of my downfalls is yeah. drinking water. That can also be something you can add into a goal. Drink uh, water yeah. on a regular. Have a bottle of water or something ready. 
more often. Yeah. I, I just, I like, and it's almost like I just find myself not even thirsty through the day. It's not like I, like, now, because I used to just drink others, like, coffee. I would just drink coffee all day. Yeah. Um, But now it's just, like, I just, I almost forget to, like, drink stuff. So I that's definitely my next goal is to drink more water. Yeah. We I know can... that'll probably help feel better, too. You should, we could say that you should at least drink half a gallon a day of water. Okay. Have, have that as a 64 goal. ounces. I'm not sure. Uh, we can yeah, use Google. Right. Only 128 again. This is water, though. I will admit. This is not coffee. After I said that. To oh. Uh, 64 US fluid ounces. Okay. That, that's at least the start. You should probably have some more fluids out through the day. Especially with being, yeah, the size I am. So you can you can double that as well if you want to, but I, I guess you're drinking other stuff as well. This is just to add in. Yeah. yeah. Why not drink coffee? Uh, he, yeah, he, can drink coffee. He, he can drink coffee. He can drink coffee. But he shouldn't only drink coffee. That's what we're uh, adding in here. He can drink the coffee he's drinking. He can drink uh, yeah, I'm just not diet pops uh, and all of that. But we're just adding you, I'm not going to lie. I was not really... Like, every once in a while, I liked having some pop. But, mm -hmm. like, ever since this, this, like... The Mountain Dew Zero Sugar shit, I have been hooked on it. And I have no idea why. I don't know if it's, like, my, like... My mind's like, oh, that's our, like, sweet thing that we're going to have. Yeah, but yeah, I I never was really like big into pop, and then I started doing this, and like now it's like, all right, I have one a day of those. So yeah, you should try the one that is named. Let me let me find it. Mountain Dew. Uh, Dew. If you want to, uh, I, I'll. Uh, I'll recommend one for you if you see my screen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got you pulled up. Oh, the Baja. You see your Baja Blast guy? Hmm? You like the, the Baja Blast? I've uh, only tasted that one in bottles. Oh, really? Not, not in cans. Because when I was in oh, Texas, I didn't, I didn't when I was in Austin, uh, you know, OTK spons was sponsored by Mountain Dew, so they, oh, really? they had a lot of Mountain Dew Baja Blast uh, in some fridges. <laughs> Just a bunch of Baja Blast there? Uh, yeah, that was insane. That's that wild. Yeah, I could only imagine if they were sponsored by them, they were probably hit in with Mountain Dew. Yeah, the, the, but uh, everyone just took it from their fridge, so it was nothing left. Just hoarded all the Mountain Dew. Oh, yeah, yeah. They had, Miskif had a full fri Ma Mountain Dew fridge with Baja Blast, and it was all gone. People just took it all the time. It was so good. Oh, that's wild. I don't even know if I've had the actual can of it, because I know like that's like um, a Baja Blast, like a Taco Bell thing. Okay. But I've just always like drank the OG stuff, but I'll have to see if there's zero sugar or that stuff, too. It, it is. The one he had was zero sugar. Oh, is it? Yeah, the the one he had was uh, zero sugar. I'm pretty sure. Let me oh, just uh, yeah, I'll have to see. Let me see how it looks. A Mountain Dew zero sugar Baja Blast. It comes. Oh shit! It does. Yeah. I'm gonna have to try this. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try that one. Okay, I'll, I'll let you know the review off that. Yeah, we need a review from you. Oh yeah, got you. Maybe we should start posting on TikTok uh, pop reviews. Maybe Just... that. Uh, try different you, ones. I would get ripped. Just this dude trying to lose weight doing pop reviews does no, not zero. sound like it would get very good comment. Zero sugar. All of them. All the ones we're testing. Oh god. Hey, yeah, maybe I'll just find the best zero sugar pop out there. Yeah. Oh man. That'd be good. No, I actually was talking to my sister about like 
doing some sort of like I've never vlogged because I mean working from home it's there's not much going on in life so uh well, I was thinking about like doing something with the weight loss journey to like kind of implement that into my content and stuff so yeah that can be a good thing like it's there's it's definitely weird to get like messages about like them people seeing like my daily posts about how it helps them it's like i'm just honestly trying to make it through the next workout so you know what if it's helping other people i'm all for it uh, a friend of mine asked if you're canadian instead since you said pop instead of soda you know no. i i know i'm from uh washington state but i've heard that a lot like there's different regions of the u.s that will say soda instead of pop and i've just always called it pop but there's people in washington that are weirded out that i call it that so i don't know you know i had somebody called soda pop once and i was like that's just i feel like you cut that in half and still get the same point across but i i hadn't heard uh the word pop before that was on youtube oh really yeah i see that's yeah that's that's interesting because i i've definitely had that conversation actually probably pretty recently about how like pop versus soda is there there's got to be another one that people call it that like we just don't like how you heard soda or you call it soda i say pop there's gotta be a third one well <laughs> busy drinks so oh, yeah no we when in school we learned soda that was the english word we i probably got told it was soda but I was probably not paying attention very much in class, so <laughs> I was uh, kind of the class clown slash jackass in school. So. Uh, isn't that why we are content creators instead of uh, having yep. normal jobs? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> class that's why clowns. I keep telling the uh, yeah. for for the job Nordstroms, the one that has been hell recently. Uh, we would have like our team meeting huddles, and at the end of them as everybody's going off i'd be like i love you and then cut my cam off and everything uh, get everybody's reactions and stuff uh, and it was always best because people would be like did did he just say i love you before he left and like <laughs> that shit i've always loved just reaction stuff like that yeah but as long as it is uh, on such a level of being that nice it's good just good <laughs> because yeah like what do you even say to that like people just like yeah all right have a good rest of your day <laughs> I love uh, that. Yeah, no, that's good. No, but uh, back to, to what we were talking about. I think yeah. you shouldn't think about anything you have been done as any negative. As okay. uh, as long as you're, uh, what you have told me is what what has been going on. That's just it, it. It doesn't matter if you don't lose the same amount of weight every week. I had had some plateaus you know, in my diet sometimes where it takes weeks. We can always lower the calories a bit or add in more cardio if you if it stops stands to still for too long that will work but i don't think we should do anything fast the one thing i was gonna say is i remember bumping up the vegetables up 50 grams i think i'm gonna bump it back down to our original amount just to see if that helps with me eating all the meals through the day yeah um just because like that extra I, 50 grams isn't much but it adds up so yeah like, do you see what point Dan says in chat long time goals week for week don't judge yourself if you have a setback but you you haven't even have a setback you have just it has just been a bit slower i don't dude last week felt like i just like it sucked because like i i felt like the last week i was working really hard in the gym and like with my workouts and then like i knew that the way that my eating was not the way that it should be so like that just mentally was like damn i'm not keeping up with how i should be doing it but like i wasn't gonna force myself to eat and like get sick so yeah definitely we i mean you know little things to work on and yeah i'm you know working on the positive yeah yeah uh, you should work you should work on being positive think anyway like just be positive to see what you're doing now as just a positive thing not not a negative thing <sighs> well that's what i i yeah if i start getting negative about it i just try to like i've been using my nephew as like something to like 
get out of that mindset of like you know what like it's not worth it because this is i'm doing it for me but also because i want to be his uncle for a ch big chunk of his life so yeah definitely yeah working on that i've also been taking cbd and it's got a little bit of thc in there and i've i definitely felt like that was helping me relax a little bit so. <laughs> yeah that's strict uh, illegal where i'm from so uh... I, I, I haven't, oh, you haven't can't tried get it. it at all? I, I think you can get prescribed CBD. Oh, okay, yeah. But uh, that's it. Yeah, once you get to Texas. Well, I, is it legal in Texas? I don't know. They were selling it at the gym, at least. It was oh. a big poster <laughs> there where they had the CBD, so I think that is... Uh, yeah. That, that might be... That's probably legal, I would guess, since they did... <laughs> You'll be able to get some out here, so. Uh, as our oh, yeah. is saying in Norway, it's easier to get opiates than weed. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> yeah, oh, it man. is pretty insane. There are a few things. And, it, and changes take a long time if you want to uh, in a positive direc direction. Yeah. Yeah, as well, yeah I was, was like, saying, you know, this is more the long haul. It's crazy how fast the month already went, so... What is that guy? CBD legal in Norway. Uh, 0.01% THC is the max. I, I don't know. To be honest, this isn't something I've been looking into. I just think, uh, personally, I don't just think it's stupid to uh, criminalize uh, everything. Yeah. The, the, that's just, but it personally, it doesn't affect me because I don't care anyway for myself. It's just. <sighs> It's pretty interesting what's illegal and what's legal in, yeah. in a lot of places. So, But I, I want to say I, one of my other goals is to make sure I'm going to put time aside each week to, to talk. Like I'm, I already told work that like that my health is more like can't work much if I'm dead. So I'm going to uh, be talking with you more and, yeah. and making sure I got time set aside. Yeah, we, we we just had a few days now where the schedule. I was in game when you had the chance, and I didn't see it before afterwards, and that was a bit too late. Oh no, you're. I got the I got the Tarkov bug right now too, so I yeah. definitely I respect it. The game's so addicting. <laughs> it's too addicting. And it's just yeah. it, it. It's the worst game as far as getting in, and just time just goes like it just flies. Yeah. It's like three hours later, and you're like, okay, well I've only ran two or three raids, so that's cool. Yeah, le le read what Pointer is saying as well. If you uh, want another big boy to talk to that is uh, doing the Knut diets, it's just to hit him up. Oh, hell yeah. We could change one of the Discord groups as well, because I feel like this is something that so many people want to join in on. It, it has been actually an insane amount of response. You've probably seen it yourself in your DMs. Yeah. And just imagine when you have seen my uh, those oh, TikToks sure and uh, and YouTube Shorts has hit millions. Yeah. I've gotten so much DMs that I had no chance of even responding to a small part of it almost. Yeah. So I've tried to direct people to my to my Discord server so they can have like a group chat there. There's made some group rooms there they can talk to each other or everyone to give tips there's a diet oh, yeah. can be there so you could have joined in if you want to to that one as well we can change the name because it was originally just jesse so just jesse progression room but we can change room to uh, to change the name to something else oh yeah yeah i'm with that that'd be cool and uh where people because because it is nice that people help each other a little bit out give some if not advice but maybe you have a struggle you can talk about it with the people that is in the same situation what do they do yeah. to get out of the struggles and obviously our stream now and then we could we should probably set it up so it's like a set time every week yeah so people that are yeah i'm gonna do that so people are that are interested would watch it Okay, today we have a new update call. We can address. Uh, we could also address some of other people's struggles if they, if yeah, they have written about it. 
almost talk over some of the stuff that went in on the chat. Yeah. yeah that'd be cool. If, if that's something you're interested in, adding yeah. in a little bit. It, it'd be sick. To, I think, and that also is an element that I, I haven't had in the prior times of trying this is like being able to try to help others that are going through it at the same time. Yeah. Cause, cause just sharing <laughs> that you have some struggles as well. I think that is a good thing. It, it, and if we look away, if we don't look at what you are doing personally only, but that you are sharing this, that we are sharing it here makes other people see that, okay, it isn't just me that is struggling. It isn't just me that feels like, oh, now it's I fucked up. Lonely... No, no, you're not lonely because I have seen it now. It's insane amount of people that is struggling and trying. I was, I was just talking to my roommate um, either night last night or night before last. I was out like doing my walk and like I'm walking through the neighborhood and stuff and like I must have seen like six or seven. Uh, people that were outside that were that were struggling with their weight yeah that it's just like it's becoming such a norm to see that it's just i definitely like i am now reaching a point where i want to do this so i can help people like that get out of that situation yeah because like living in the the morbidly obese and like understanding like the struggle and shit like i like it's definitely made me want to help others yeah i uh and we have a platform we can we can uh, help yeah. we should we should use it to something positive other than just playing a game all the time <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. it's nothing wrong with the gaming but <laughs> but there's so much more that you can do with yes with it, it you can do a variety that's what i enjoy anyway oh yeah so Maybe I can create a group with me, you, Pointer, and maybe we can add in some more, and we can discuss like how we want to set this up. Yeah, yeah, I am down for that. That would probably be a good yeah, thing. Definitely, yeah, yeah, and like I said, putting I'm gonna put some more time aside to just kind of chat and, and keep talking about this stuff. So because if it helps others, that that also is huge. So and that can motivate you as well. But now yeah. I'm actually doing something for myself, as you said, for expanding your lifetime. <laughs> yeah. And helping others at the same time. Well, that's what, yeah, Tuesday when I had my cardiologist exam and they were like telling me that I have an abnormality on my heart like that. That, that definitely like it hit as far as like I've done this to myself. And now like if something were to go wrong with that, I... I, all I can blame is myself and my laziness. So, like, I want to fix at least what I can. Yep. In the meantime, uh, what, what did they say the abnormality was? Did they say anything? <laughs> Something with a with a T valve. I'm not the, the doc. I'm I'm gonna schedule to go see another doctor because the doctor, um, the majority of the appointment was talking about his ski trip, and I was like, dude. Can you tell me if this shit's serious or like I like I'm trust me I'm, I'm glad you hit the slopes but like I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on with my heart. Let, so, let uh, me just try to translate something. Negative T valves in several branches or something. Is that something they say? Uh, I have a I so I have a test that I got to go do at the end of this month and I will find out exactly what it was. Oh. Um. Because I was trying to talk to my dad about it too, and like the the way he worded it, I did not remember how it was worded. So, um, gonna see if I can get it actually on paper. So, if I'm if I'm not wrong, the T valves when you're doing a EK, EKG wasn't that what you did? Yeah. Uh, and it was. I don't, I don't remember exactly, so don't quote me 100% on this, but that can, <coughs> if I remember correct, it can be a sign that the heart, the, um, uh, the, the heart is a bit thicker, and that would be yeah. a pretty normal thing when you're heavier. That, that is, yeah. uh, well, that's why I was talking to him a little bit about like how like the sleep apnea and like being the weight I am, like 6'4", and I mean, for the last 10 years I've been over 300 pounds so like that definitely 
yeah. that has been, you know, probably taking a toll on on the heart. So, yeah, because when your heart is beating, the, the chamber that beats the blood around your body, it's the biggest chamber. I don't remember what it was like. Was it uh, heard the good news? What chamber is the one that is beating the blood around your body? Because you have four chambers. And and one of them is the one that is pushing blood around your body. And when you're way heavier, it demands more more power in a way to just push the blood. Yeah. And uh, the muscles in your heart will grow and get thicker in that chamber. Which means like normally the chamber is like a little bit like this. So when it when it's thicker walls, it will be smaller, especially on and and when it's beating, it's contracting this way from the sides and this way in all directions, oh, okay. in all directions. And when the when it gets thicker and thicker, the muscle is more stiff in a way as well. So it will contract less. Plus, it's less volume inside. Okay. Uh, so that's like a negative. Uh, yeah. Circle that that is pretty normal when you're heavy. Okay. Well, yeah, that's I yeah I definitely. I can draw it in like, paint. It, it was it was definitely a motivator. Okay, I have paint. So your heart, that chamber is obviously not shaped exactly like this, but in kind of this shape. And when the walls are getting thicker. You can imagine uh, 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 where this is the Just new paint. Uh, There's less the less space inside the heart. Plus, the thicker it gets, the shorter this will be. So it's shorter way of pumping. It gets stiffer because normally it uh, it pumps both this way, yeah. like contracts that way, and on the short side. Okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So it contracts. So it will be shorter contractions. It will be slower uh, when it uh, expands again as well. Oh, this is a Pega drawing, but you, you get the point. No, yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. I get it. Uh, it's definitely hey, it's better than what I would have put out there. So. <laughs> So that, that's just really, really basic of what's happening when the heart gets thicker. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely, definitely <laughs> motivated me to keep doing this. So. Yeah. So, but but that can get better when you uh, get healthier and a little bit lighter. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to keep you too long. I'm excited to see how your bit thing goes with Tarkov. Oh my god! Yeah, you got props to you for doing that. I don't know. <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've struggled without that. I can't imagine having to deal with that. And let's just say I've. But I already got some bits saved up. I got some bits saved up for you, so I'm gonna <laughs> play. i play with it too. So. That's awesome. Oh, this is going to be horrible. We can add it to the title. Uh, oh, exclamation yeah. mark bit. A bit, but control. My... Does that take a long time to hook up into the game? Uh, from uh, from you sending it to the bits. That's what you mean? No, 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 no. Like how you you have your end hooked up to the game. Uh, it didn't take that much time because we had just added in the, some settings that a different guy had used already. Uh, so, I, so I basically just had to. I had to log in uh, my tar- my Twitch account to uh, I, I um, imported his file oh. and just uh, removed the files. I didn't always because in the beginning it just logged in his Twitch all the time. So first oh, really? we just uh, got his file in. I removed the file and then I just logged in my Twitch and it was set up already. So it didn't take that much time. Oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. But you can add it to other games as well. I saw someone was using it for, oh, for Warzone. Oh God! I, I haven't touched that game forever. That game's hot trash right now. So 
Yeah, I agree with you. Main reason I started playing Tarkov again, so. Yeah, but Tarkov is good. Yeah, it's it's so addicting. It's just like, I, I love how hard it is to be good at it. Yeah. Oh. Who's oh, yeah, this man. guy? I will. What was your username? It was uh, I am. Oh. No, just type something in chat. That's his name. Soon, just yeah, one day we'll it. have we'll have send it, but until until that account either gets banned or is that an active account? That's yeah. A... Well, no, it's inactive, but I've I've like so I messaged the account. And I emailed Twitch, and this was like two years ago, about how like it's just not an active account. Can I get the name? And they're like, "Well, it, it might get recycled." And I was like, "Oh my god!" Just wait till your partner. Then they will give it to me. The Knut name was an inactive account, and they just switched. Oh really? That fast because it was inactive when I got partnered. There is not before I got partnered. Oh okay. Oh yeah. <sighs> His no, name was going to be up front, I think, Shane. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I changed it to send it because just going to send it is just too damn long. So. Yeah, it's always. Should have good... thought about that prior. Yeah. Hell yeah. Awesome, well, man. I will shoot you a message about. Uh, just let me know like what time frames work best for you, and then uh, I will set up. We can lock a time in. Yeah, we should find one day. That we do it around the same time as now. 11 p.m. my time is probably a good time for you as well, is my guess. Yeah, yeah. I can do... Uh, so Fridays, I don't work Nordstrom. So if Fridays work for you... Uh, probably work Fridays for are probably the most, yeah, most open I, I can have, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll try to do it Fridays. Right, well, cool. have a good evening. You too, man. It was good talking with you. Nice I talking will to you talk too. to you guys uh, later Next this week. week. And yeah. we can do it later this week. We can do it uh, closer to the weekend or something. I guess it's already it's already Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can. Yeah, we can. I'll message you. Yes. You guys also. have a good rest of your day. Have fun with the Tarkov, man. Goodbye. Have a good day. All right. Yeah, I'll uh, send him. Uh, I'll add him to a group with you, Pointern. And then we can just uh, give suggestions there, you can change the name.